Good morning, reception. I hope you're all okay. Uh, it's a bit grey outside on this Monday morning, but I hope you all had a good weekend and are set to have a good week ahead. It's time for our story of the week, and it's a story I really enjoyed when I was a child. And it's quite an old story, it's even older than Mr. Hooley, probably even older than your parents. And uh, it has wonderful illustrations, which I really enjoy and I still like today. And I know my children still enjoy this story. We've read it lots of times to, to them as they've been growing up. So I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you at the end. The Giant Jam Sandwich, story and pictures by John Vernon Lord. One hot summer, in itching down, four million wasps flew into town. They drove the picnickers away, they chased the farmers from their hay. They stung Lord Swell in his fat bald pate, they dived and hummed and buzzed and ate. And a noisy, nasty nuisance grew, till the villagers cried, What can we do? So they called a meeting in the village hall, and the mayor muddle nut asked them all, what can we do? And they said, good question, but nobody had a good suggestion. Then back the baker leapt to his feet and cried, what do wasps like best to eat? Strawberry jam. Now wait a minute. If we made a giant sandwich, we could trap them in it. The gentleman cheered, the lady squealed and pharmacy said, use my field. Bat gave instructions for the making of the dough. Mix flour from above and yeast from below. Salt from the seaside, water from the spout. Now thump it, bump it, bang it about. While they were working and working hard, some more made the tablecloth out in the yard. When they were done, the dough was left to rise till the loaf was a mountain in shape and size. They hitched it up with a bit of fuss to tractors, his cars and a village bus and took it to the oven that they made on the hill. 50 cookers in an old brick mill. For hours and hours they let it cook. It swelled inside till the window shook. It was piping hot when they took it out and the villagers raised a mighty shout. Isn't it crusty? Aren't we clever? But the wasps were just as bad as ever. The loaf was left to cool and then the people watched while six strong men took a great big saw and sliced right through. Everybody claps and they cut slice too. The village bush, bus, they all agreed, would spoil the fields of farmer's seed. So eight fine horses pulled the bread to where the picnic cloth was spread. A truck drew up and dumped out butter and they spread it out with a flap and a flutter. Spoons and spades, slap and slam. And they did the same with the strawberry jam. Meanwhile, high above the field, six fly machines whirred and wheeled, ready for the wasps to take the bait. And then there was nothing to do but wait. Suddenly, the sky was humming. All four million wasps were coming. They smelled that jam, they dived and struck. They ate so much, but they all got stuck. The other slice came down, just flat, on top of the wasp, and that was that. There were only three that got away. And where they are now, I cannot say. But they never came back to Itching Down, which is not a waspish sort of town, but a very nice place to dance and play. And that's what the villagers did that day. Well, reception, I hope you enjoyed that story. Um, it's, I think it's a brilliant story. I really, really enjoy reading that story to you all. Um, have a go at some activities if you can that I've penciled in for this week. Uh, try and have a go at making your own jam sandwiches. Maybe make some for your family. Uh, hopefully you won't have any wasps which come your way. Have a great week and I will see you all soon. Goodbye.